The team was really physical. Uh, you know, their style of defense is they, they try to kind of suffocate the offense a little bit. And, uh, I think our guys did a really good job of, you know, still being physical, still trying to go out and run the football, and we made plays on the outside when we need to. He's got two touchdowns from George and almost a third yeah. without a penalty there. What did you see from him tonight? Yeah, uh, man, he's growing up. He's doing a great job of uh, taking his game to the next level, uh, really focusing on the details and making plays when it comes to What's he like? I mean, he's one of those guys we don't get to hear from fans, we get to hear from. Tell, tell me about him. Uh, uh, great kid, uh, awesome. You know, you always know when he walks in the room. got a really, really buoyant smile. Uh, he, he's always going to... Uh, come out. He, he loves the game of football. He's going to come. He's going to ball out for you. Uh, he's always going to smile and, and always crack jokes for you. Is he kind of ready to take that not a freshman anymore leap? We'll see what happens with, mm -hmm. with Cager going forward. Is he yeah. kind of ready to take that leap become a bigger part of the yeah, offense? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm ready for him too. And I'll see you know, how he goes to work this, this next week. Jake, I know you guys always talk enough of donuts tonight. Yeah, uh, that's unbelievable uh, for our defense to go out, you know, play as physical as they did. Uh, I mean, just, you know, for what they do, uh, it's unbelievable. You know, we go against it every day in practice, and to see them come out and, and play the way they did, uh, great for them. Really thankful for our team. Jake, I know you guys always talk next man up, but the way the offensive line were going down tonight, Lawrence goes down tonight, yep. it was kind of scary out there for a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's tough. It's like, man, it's kind of like dominoes there for a second. And... You know, uh, it, it really kind of sucks, and you, really, you know, guys have to get you know, healthy. Uh, we're a little banged up right now, but I think guys will get get healthy. And for us, it, it really is next man up. Uh, we we have uh, a lot of great guys on our team, and guys who are ready to take the next chance. Guys who work hard. So, have you spoken to Cager at all since the end? Yes, yes, he, he, he's he's in good spirits. Uh, we think he'll be, you know, okay. So, um, you know, hopefully he gets healthy and, and get ready to go next week. Talk about number seven, number. Just got the number 10 on the Russian list all the time. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a, it's a pretty tough list to crack. And, you know, for him to do it as early as he has in his career, uh, that's a testament to him. And, you know, how well and, you know, how well, you know, how good of a player he is. And uh, I, I think he's a, he's a better teammate than uh, he is a, uh, a rusher. And he does a great job for us in, the, you know, leading and, and coming out and making plays when we need him. There were, you know, 90,000 cheering fans here, but a whole lot of people in this country watching a different SEC game today. Is it nice kind of flying under the radar a little bit, even being a top 10 team? Yeah, uh, you know, for us, you know, we're, we're not really worried about it. For us, it's we're going to come out and play football. We played a really good team. You know, uh, I don't think the record kind of shows how good of a team they are, and they came in and they played a really good football game. What were you thinking when, uh, you know, right there in the fourth quarter, Isaiah goes down, Kate goes down? Uh, well, yeah, injuries are part of football, but it seemed like uh, that your line in particular has really been taking it this year. Yeah, uh, it's tough. It's it's next guy up, and yeah, I think our guys are ready. Our guys work hard, and uh, I know Coach Pittman has a, a great group of guys, and those guys will be ready. Jake Pickens stepped up today uh, with Cager out. How do you find consistency with all your other receivers? Yep. Cager does seem to be your top target. Yeah, it comes down to work. You know, we we throw the ball we throw the ball around a lot in practice, and I think it just comes down to reps and. And getting those, you know, good reps. You know, there's there's reps you can do at kind of half speed, but I think the faster we play, you know, at practice and in the game, I think the reps get better and better. And sooner or later, we'll, we'll be getting, you know, pretty good on page. It's mm -hmm. talked about so much the depth on your offensive line. Obviously, tonight you guys needed it. Do you trust every guy the same? I know you're going to say yes, but I mm -hmm. want to hear what you have to say about it. Yeah, uh, I mean, I really do. Uh, I think our guys. They, they worked really hard, and Coach Pippen has a great group of guys, and these guys are ready. Uh, they know the game plan just because the starters do, and uh, next guy up, let's go play football. Do you feel like every year since you've been here, you've lost one game against the West? It might be in the back of your mind, but do you feel like this is the year that you guys might be, be able to get over the hump? Uh, for us, this is the, the next football game on the list. I, you know, I know uh, we're going to play a great opponent next week, and you know they're going to be a really physical game. And uh, For us, it's how can we get healthy? How can we you know put together a great game plan and go out next year? A lot, of guys, a lot of guys did get banged up out there today. Were you and three offensive linemen left the game, I think it was? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you were counting like we were. <laughs> no, uh, I wasn't counting. knew there was a bunch of them. But uh, yeah, for us, it's the next guy up, and let's go play football. Was it, was it, do you think the cold was it, was that aggravating, grabbing the ball, gripping the ball in the cold? It's different than the summer, for sure. Yeah, uh, you know, for, for us, you know, I really didn't think it was a factor. Um, you know, I, I stayed pretty warm all game. You know, the heaters are pretty good there on the sideline, and uh, I think guys did a good job of still trying to play fast. I, definitely, I think when it's a little colder, the game's a little bit slower, um, you know, I think from the skill guys. But um, for us, I, I think it was a, you know, no factor at all. How difficult is it uh, changing through, you know, three centers? Yeah, yeah that's tough. Uh, that can kind of get on you mentally, you know, a little bit worried there. But uh, uh, our guys did a good job. You know, you know, really, we've been working with Kate a little bit and Jamari for him to come in and, and do a really good job. You know, uh, he, Jamari's a lefty, unlike the other two, which is a little bit scary. But um, it, I think it just comes down to work and the reps we've, we've done you know, throughout camp and 
uh, throughout this fall, and I think it's just kind of all come together for us. You think you guys, you guys had to play without uh, Lawrence for a game and a half already this season, and then another half now. I mean, how, how much uh, does that hurt the offense to be missing him out there? Yeah, I mean, he's a he's a really good playmaker for us and in our offense, big key in our offense. And you know, he's not out there. You know, things might be a little bit different, uh, but you know, really hoping that he can be out there for us, you know, next week and hit for him to get healthy. What do you, how do you I'm like when Cade had that bad snap? Do you, Offensive linemen don't drop balls and have performance issues typically. How do you make sure he doesn't have things go to his head real quick and stuff like that? Yeah, uh, for him, it's just you knowing we get, we have his back. You know, I'm going to do everything I can to obviously catch the ball. You know, next time. And do um, you think that was on you or? Uh, you know, a little bit of both. You know, I, I think there's there's always a little bit of gray area there, and yeah. you know, uh, I, I got to do a better job of catching the ball for sure. And um, you know, for him, it's just knowing we believe in him. They go out and make the play, and I know you get better next time. Did you think this game was going to be like this? A big fight? You know, a week after the high. Florida, and then you come in here and you got to grind it out. Yeah, we, we knew it was going to be a fight. Uh, Missouri's a really good football team. They play really physical on defense. Uh, they, they knew their kind of style of defense is to try to suffocate the offense, and at times they kind of did that on us. But we did a good job of making sure we hit our place, uh, or hit our big shots on the outside, and, and that's what we needed to do. Jake, how was the last touchdown pass? That was tough to be called back to pick it. Yeah. Uh, did you know? How soon did you know it was going to come back? Uh, I got about halfway down the field, and uh, when you kind of look at the sideline, everybody's kind of like uh, not not really uh, kind of cheering, so to speak. Uh, you know something's probably a little bit up, and you, you look behind you, and you see a little yellow flag on the ground. And, uh, it's a it's a kind of a sucky feeling. It really is. Uh, to hit a uh, big play, uh, a check that we've been kind of talked about all week. Uh, to kind of go out and execute the check the way we did, um, I mean, that's, that's just textbook perfect. And for it to come back, it's kind of heartbreaking. Seems like Missouri's secondary sort of settled into the game after that first series. What was challenging about that, about them, and then what's as it went on? Yeah, uh, I mean, they're big, big and physical, and, and they can run really well, and they did a good job staying with our guys uh, for a little while. And, um, I, you know, sooner or later, you know, we're, we're just going to make a play on offense, and uh, that's, that's kind of what happened. We made plays when we needed to. Well, the where is three three centers? I mean, you know that's kind of a rare you want. Yeah, I mean that's that's tough. Um, uh, you know we've been kind of working with Cade, you know, a lot during the fall, uh, just to make sure because we know he is our number two. And um, you know Jamari has to go back to uh, fall camp, you know, for those reps with Jamari. But Jamari did a good job. Uh, we got on the same page. Jamari's also left-handed, so that's yeah. that can be definitely a little change too. But uh, we did a good job, kind of fixed it, and, and you know next guy up, let's go play football. Oh, like Cade was ready to go when you were warming up on the sideline. He was like, let's yeah. do this. I yeah, mean, yeah, uh, yeah. Cade, uh, he switched his mindset. He was ready, ready to roll, and, and make the most of his opportunity. You ever played a game with three centers before? I've not. <laughs> that's first for me. What well, why is it, why is it with this? Is it just a spin with the left yeah. foot or the left-handed toss back to you on the? The center being a um, uh, it, it definitely it's a, it's a big factor uh, when you're under center. You know, yeah. The ball is coming from a different way, uh, just a different different kind of grip on the ball. How does Pickens change in terms of being like more of a go-to guy when Lawrence isn't out there and, and being able to count on him to make the big yeah, play? Yeah, George is stepping up. Uh, he's doing a great job of uh, fulfilling that role and, and be able to go make plays when they're com coming his way. When you talk about Cade, I mean, obviously coming in at guard, you know, was one thing. But to come in at center with all the stuff that comes with playing that position, kind of, what does that say about his, you know, mental capacity? Yeah, uh, I mean, for him, it uh, shows definitely his football IQ. You know, what he knows, and you know, for him, uh, his body type and, and just the mentality he kind of goes with to work and knowing that he can play, you know, any position on the offensive line, whatever we need. Uh, it's a little bit of musical chairs with him sometimes, but uh, I think he takes on that role uh, and, and he, he kind of puts it on his back and says, hey, I want to go out and do it, anything I can for this football team. And with this team as a whole in the offense, you guys might not have had that game where everything clicks, you know, this game, this year, but like, do you feel like this is a little bit of a survive and advance mode at this point? You guys got to do what you no, I mean, I, for me, I think the, the inches are there uh, so close, you know, on the, the uh, the kind of over route uh, to uh, Cager and then the uh, the go ball there to Kiaris there at halftime. I mean, we're so close in the inches, and uh, we just have to execute a little bit better. You know, when we get there, a little tighter in the red zone. And uh, I think we're so close. We're so we're so close to kind of ex executing on all cylinders. Uh, I think you know sooner or later we're gonna we're gonna break it out, and it's gonna be uh, really fun to watch. And man, I, I can't wait. I'm holding on to it um, because you know when we come in the locker room, everybody knows that we can play better. And that's just, you kind of have that feeling and, and you, you want to play the best you can. And um, I, I think sooner or later we're going to break it out and um, it's going to be exciting to watch. Do you, do you need to, if, when you see the way LSU and Alabama scored today, uh, you know, you three, four weeks away? From those yeah, teams? I, I mean, I'm not, not worried about playing either one of those opponents right now, but. You know, for us to, to go play this next football game against Auburn, you know, they're, they're a really good football team. So, um, I mean, I, I want to play my best every single Saturday. You know, I, I think that's the kind of mindset we need to have. Jake, uh, 
you lost Lawrence, you get him back last week, and you lose him again. What's the is that frustrating part? Next or? guy up. You know, let's go out, play football, and then guys have to make plays. Why has he been so important to you, and how is it easy to replace that after we saw that you missed him for a game and a half? Yeah, I mean, well, he, he's a he's a great football player. He's a he's a big body. Um, you know, he's got good speed. He's got great hands. Uh, I think for him going up and, and making those 50-50 balls for him, it's it's a 99 to one ball. You know, in, in my mind, and um, he, he has a great football IQ. He knows where to be and when to be there. And he, he goes. He makes plays. How much can George replicate what Lawrence Sprint does and gives for you guys? I think George does a great job of, of stepping up uh, when when his number's called. You know, and, and for him to go out. Um, we're always trying to focus on details uh, with George, and George did a great job with the details uh, of knowing what to do and, and, and when to do it. So we're proud of him, and, and really, really proud of him for going out and, and making plays when they came his way. Jake, were you minutes, looking? Guys. Were you looking for for George early today? I saw you did the chest bump with the math or whatever. Were you looking yeah. for George trying to get him involved early? Hey, uh, man, let's go and make a play. You know, we're we're kind of uh, sometimes you kind of work the play in, and, and you kind of put him in there, and you think a pretty good spot, you know, and. Uh, yeah, he, he, he made plays when he came to play. Was there anything about Missouri's safeties that stood out to you in film prep for this game? Anything that you were looking for from them? Uh, for them, uh, they, did a, they did a really good job of kind of following your eyes. Um, you know, they, they play a lot of single high safety. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you're supposed to kind of stay in the middle of the field. And for them, they're kind of all over the place and, and really trying to play football. Did, were you expecting nine to blitz a couple times? He almost he mm -hmm. got pretty close to going up. Yeah, uh, pretty close. I mean, we, we know that they, they kind of have that in their little package. And, yeah. Um, you know, for us, it's, how can we execute and um, do a good job of picking it up? Jake, looking ahead to next week, what do you think it will be like with your brother on the opposing sideline? Yeah, uh, it'll be fun. Uh, it'll be really fun for us, uh, fun for our family, and uh, we'll be ready to go. I uh, can't wait to see him next weekend. How has your family been handling that this yeah. season, getting being at one place or the other? Yeah, uh, from what I understand, you know, my, my family's done a pretty good job of, of kind of uh, picking and choosing all the battles and, uh, you know, going to Mercer, too, uh, to watch my other brother there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, it'll be fun for us, fun for our family, and, uh, hopefully we have a big crowd there. What do you think about defense's performance tonight? Yeah, out. man, it's it's unbelievable. I think uh, it's the first time we've had three shutouts uh, in a season since 1981. So, uh, man, props to them. I'm uh, really thankful they're on our football team and they go out and they play hard. McCoy, red, red and black, blue and orange for the parents. Oh,